everyone, this is Miss Snook, your science teacher. I hope you can see me. This is my first time doing a lab that I'm videotaping for you. Today I am doing the cloud formation lab. And in order to do this lab, you only need to have a clear plastic bottle that you can see through with a lid. You need to have some cold water and you need to have some hot water. And some matches. So that's all you need to do this lab. So part A of this lab you're making what's called cold water clouds. And what you're going to do is you're going to pour some cold water into your bottle. And you are going to put the lid on your bottle. And you're going to shake your bottle vigorously to get all of the moisture around your bottle. And as you're doing that, I want you to squeeze the bottle. So when you're squeezing the bottle, you are adding pressure to the system inside of the bottle. So I'm squeezing the bottle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly release the bottle. And we're going to see if a cloud forms. Now, I can't tell you the answer, but it doesn't look like much is going on in there. Okay? Next, part two of the lab is you're going to unscrew the lid on your bottle. And you are going to get a match and light it and you're going to tip your bottle and stick your match inside so that some smoke can go inside the bottle and you're going to quickly cap your bottle and repeat the process so I'm squeezing the bottle and I'm shaking it And I'm going to quickly release the bottle. And if you notice, a light cloud formed in there. So if I squeeze it, hold it, and release, you can see that I've got a little fuzzy in there. Alright. The second part of the lab, I'm just going to dump this out. You're going to repeat the lab with hot water. So I have some hot water that I heated up in the microwave. I'm going to pour that in here. And already, if you notice, look how cloudy my bottle got. Just with the hot water that got put in there. But ignore that for just a moment. We're going to put the lid on and shake our bottle. If you notice as I'm shaking it, I'm squeezing it as well and it's clear. There's nothing going on in there. And as soon as I let it go, what's going on? Squeeze, let it go. You're going to have to look at your bottle closely. I don't want to tell you the answer. Squeeze, high pressure, let it go low pressure. Alright. And now we are going to repeat the match part. Light our match, tip our bottle, put some smoke in there. Make sure the smoke gets in there. Cap it. Shake our bottle. Squeeze as we're shaking our bottle. We want to increase the pressure in there. And then release. And you'll see what's going on in here. Now there's a difference between how much moisture or cold air can hold and warm air. And the water is representing the air. When you're, when you're shaking it up, it's heating up the air inside the bottle. 
when you're squeezing the bottle, that's simulating high pressure. And when you release the bottle, that's simulating low pressure. Clouds form when there is low pressure. So that's one of the answers to your lab. But you need to pay attention to the temperature of the water that's in the bottle and how good the cloud is for the rest of your lab report. So that is the Lab Formation Lab, and I'm Miss Nook, and I'll see you later.